Hi, it's me, the captain, joining you on my one day off for a special behind the scenes look at our new CD Slash series. Come on. Damn it, I told you to clean this shit up, Alan. Here at Disillusion Industries, we pride ourselves on the clarity and accuracy of our explanations. Every topic is rigorously researched by a team of experienced writers. There they are, hard at work. And when they're done, a fleet of talented digital artists takes over to create the satisfying animated visuals you know and love. Just look at them go. But even with our vast resources, we're not perfect. Sometimes, as we spend days crafting a simulation of phosphors refreshing on a CRT screen based on stuff we've read, we don't stop and check that other people have actually captured real phosphors refreshing on a real CRT screen with ultra high speed cameras, and it looks a little different. This was the case with our CD slash interlacing episode, as noted by one vigilant fan on the website reddit.com. The good news is the discrepancy is easily fixed by a change to just one line of narration and a small tweak to a shot. But the complex technology for replacing a YouTube upload has not yet been developed by your civilization. The Prime Directive prohibits us from interfering, but at the same time, I'm not giving up all those views. So we've come up with a procedure to let you experience the correct version of the episode in a pretty seamless way. Take a look. Correction preparation. Perform a light warm up for the muscles of your neck. Access the CD slash interlacing video on your mobile device and pause it at the start. Borrow a second mobile device from a friend or just the guy you know. On that device, navigate to this very video and pause it at timestamp three minutes, eight seconds. Finally, have the friend take a third mobile device and queue up the original video to timestamp 2 minutes, 0 seconds. You are now ready. Correction execution. Start playback on your device and enjoy the captain's high quality presentation. But keep an eye on the counter. When the video reaches 1 minute, 38 seconds. Pause it. Turn your head as fast as possible to face your other hand and immediately press play on the borrowed device. The correction will take over. Exactly 23 seconds after that, close your eyes and throw both devices into the air as your friend brings the third device into view. Simultaneously open your eyes and press play to complete your viewing experience. And now, the correction content. And this was an issue. All this glowing and dimming had to happen instantly, over and over, at a constant frame rate, as high as 30 per second. You couldn't use phosphors that glow longer than a frame, because then the next frame couldn't be drawn in time. But when they dim fast, as every consecutive line of the frame gets drawn, the gap before the next one is too long for persistence of vision to handle, which in real time means... So there you have it. Responsibility taken. The error corrected, YouTube perhaps made into a slightly better place, and its inhabitants into slightly better people. Oh, sh the backdrop! What was I thinking? Get me some paper towels. Maybe we can salvage this. What are you standing around for? Get me a paper towel! Is that gaff tape? Are you crazy? This is expensive stuff. We can't do that. <laughs> Get me paper towels, damn it! Oh my god! What is wrong with you? I can't work like this. Why am I surrounded by incompetence? Jeez. Get me paper towel.